Hi, welcome to the Hannah G Knits podcast. This is episode five, and today I have a special guest. Hey Hannah, thanks for having me. Anytime, I'm so glad you can be here. Um, this is my sister, Abby. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that um, she tests a lot of my patterns, she knits a lot of awesome stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I'm glad to have her on here and she's gonna show off some of her projects as well. So we will get started. Do you have a finished object you wanna share? Yes, this is my new favorite sweater. It's the Tilled and it is in the Queensland um, wool cotton blend. The, it's like 45.55. And I love it. I wear it all of the time. I have seen it a lot. Um, and I just really like the, the increases um, for the raglan and like, I think the raglan's like six stitches across. So it's just like very, like much of- It's like intentional. Yeah, it's like a feature of the design. Mm -hmm. And I love the stitch pattern for like the neckline. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And you do it on the sleeves. And then I did it on the waistband. Um, it's supposed to be ribbed, but I just liked the way that it looked. I thought it would look nice if I did it on all of the edges. And I, uh, Hannah had made it a couple years ago. And so I asked her what she did and she said she did it. So I was like, okay, well, it won't be too much of like a decrease, so. Yeah. But that's all I finished in oh, a long time. where'd you get your yarn from? Oh, I got it from Freeman's. It was in her sale bin. Um, so it made it very nice. And now I'm obsessed and I like, it's not like the most popular yarn, so it's kind of hard to find. Mm -hmm. Um, so. Um, it's Queensland United or United Queensland? I think it's Queensland United. Okay. Okay. Um, and actually my husband is knitting a scarf number one out of it. Oh. Oh, I didn't know he was using that. Okay. Yeah. Abby recently, um, her husband has started knitting as well. So she's like been helping him pick yarn and pick patterns and stuff, but he seems like he's doing really well. Yeah. He, the scarf number one like was maybe um, a jump, but he is doing great. It has a lace panel if you haven't seen that. Um, if you've watched any of my podcasts, you've definitely seen it because it's basically an advertisement for Scarf Number basically, One. Basically, but um, yeah, so Caleb's doing that. No, he's doing great, and it's just taking a little bit more time. Yeah, because he made um, Micah satchel mm -hmm. for the first time. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's his first pattern. Um, but Which was very impressive. I was yeah. very impressed. So I might have. I think we should have. He also has yarn for a hat, so we might cast on the hat next. But get him started with multiple projects early. Just yeah, that's why I only have on. one finished object because I have three projects on my needles right okay, now. Okay, well good. I can't wait to see those. Let me see. Oh, I only have one finished object as well. I have this. Oh, goes this way. This is Diana's bandana. I feel it. Ooh. It feels really good. It's a new um, pattern by Ozetta, Haley of Ozetta. Um, I believe she named it after her mom, so I love that. We love like family knitting, so fun. I should name the pattern after our mom. Um, mm. But anyway, so it's double knit and I use Linen Quill by Pearl Soho, which is the recommended yarn. I had some in my stash. So this is Pale Oats and this is something pink. Um, I don't remember, but I'll try and remember and put it in there. I have the Linen Quill in like a heirloom white. It's really similar oh, to the, yeah, the Pale, Pale Oats. Oats. They are very similar. I just recently saw them next to each other and I was like, are they the same? But no. So it's double knit and so you knit both colors at the same time which was pretty cool. I've only double knit like a um, button band before and mm -hmm. so um, having the two colors was very very neat and it's just stockinette but you can see how like it looks really cool. The edges the are cool. Oh yeah because you you slip both stitches it's like it's very cool. There's so many awesome projects that people have made. Some people color blocked it so one side they made plain I know and one side they did like Plain, but then they made like the corner variegated. That was really cool. I kind of just um, like want to wrap up in it. I know. Let's try it on. Can you try it on? Ooh, so cute. I am not really a shawl person, so it said bandana, and I thought, oh, I love a good bandana, right? It's kind of big though. It's a, it's um yeah, it's definitely bigger. But I it would looks say shawl. So cute on Ollie. <gasps> oh my gosh, I put it on Ollie. He can wrap. It'd be like a um blanket wrap. Yeah. On him. I could see Micah snuggling up like I'm wearing it like and he likes to grab my pants and like wear them like this. Oh, 
So I feel like he needs, Mike is sitting over there watching um, a show, so he. I mean, like, I mean but I guess it's oh, too big yes. for your um, star yes, frame. But um, a tester, I saw she added an I cord um, tie, so she just tied it and it looked super cute. So I've thought cute. about that. Um, oh, that looks really nice. I yeah, like I don't that. Know if my, my fingers just I one. I can't get my ring off, but. Yeah, that's really cute. Oh, but does Phil have an exercise um, ring? One of the rubber ones? No. That might look strange. That would, yeah, that would work. No, but I um, I haven't worn it yet because it's really hot here. Even though the linen quill is like, has linen and wool and alpaca, it's still pretty warm. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I really like it. I'm happy with how it turned out. I had to start over because it wasn't working for me. I don't know what I was doing, but I was messing it up. So I started over and um, I'm a lot happier with it. It's very cool and I like testing for, for Haley. So I'm happy with how it, how it turned out and I think I'll wear it probably in the fall. Can can uh, take it on the airplane. Yes, I did think of that. I thought of you, I was like, oh, this is a great airplane scarf. Um, you just need like the air vent, you want it, but then like your neck gets cold and so it's like, you don't want a full blanket. Yeah. And it can fit in your suitcase. Oh yeah, maybe if I don't want to wear it, Micah can wear it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he might tell mom that he needs one. <laughs> well, I was going to make a scarf number one for him eventually. Yes, I think he would. He would like that. Okay, um, let's talk about our works in progress. Do you have any works in progress today? I do. I have quite a few. Okay. That's why I haven't finished anything in a long time because I just keep going back and forth on my projects. Okay, first. Ooh, show everyone your bag. Okay, this is my bag. This Abby is, made this bag. Yes, it's an old print of the Rifle Co. fabric. I don't know which one it is. I made it a long time ago. I actually made these for everyone for Hannah's bachelorette. That was a labor of love. She made them for all my bridesmaids. <laughs> this is the um the petal pouch by Noodlehead. Okay. Noodlehead. But it was in the making magazine. I don't mm. remember which one. Oh my gosh, the color. So this is the cashmere bloom. Yeah. Um, cashmere merino bloom. By Pearl Soho. In mm. it was on sale in May, I think. Yeah. Oh, show everyone your stitch marker too. Oh yes, and it's by S Simply Sarah. Yeah, I think it was so on the cute. Woolberry um, retreat. retreat. But yeah, I really like it. I like the lobster claws. My first like lobster claw stitch yeah, I don't marker. Have any lobster claws. And I really like it because I also use it when I'm doing like increases and stuff because I don't really like counting rows, and so I'll like use it to mark a section, and so then I can just go back to that instead of having to go back to the beginning or Very row smart. count or something. Yeah, I like that. Do um, but yeah, this is um, Ollie's rib tat. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I really like it. It's really squishy and I'm making so the size yeah. 10 um, for my mom. And so I think cute. the increases are really pretty. Yeah. I was complaining to Hannah about not really liking increases, like the decreases on a bottom up hat. And then- but Yeah, that was kind of the inspiration for this pattern. Yeah. But it's really pretty because they only looked complete in the biggest size. Mm -hmm. And so then like, if you make the baby, then it was like, mm, and it looks kind of not pretty on the top. So this is very pretty. And yeah, I used a smaller needle for the top because that's what I had. <laughs> um, because I wanted to use double points instead of a, circular yeah yeah instead of using a circular needle so that's why but it, it turned out fine and yeah I think I'm gonna do Christmas and so I'm just gonna use the whole skein and hopefully it will be enough oh yeah she can just like fold it up or not fold it up whatever yeah and then someone else might be getting a skein of this for the birthday or Christmas I don't know they picked it out so it's so pretty oh my gosh it's yeah. beautiful I don't know if you can see that oh yeah that's true it yeah, is my first pretty. time um knitting with um, anything that has cashmere in it. And um, my husband was kind of obsessed with it. And so now he <laughs> has his own skin to make himself a hat um, because he has kind of sensitive skin. So I think this Beautiful. will be very nice for him. Yeah. Okay, next, um, should I show this one? This is yours pattern. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it's for me? No. No, but it's not, it's not a secret. Oh, yeah, it's not a secret. You can show it. Okay. So this is a test knit for Hannah Jeanette. Test knit. And... Oh, it's so cute. Oh what's gosh. the type? The oh, name? it's Ollie's Classic Crew. Is it in testing currently? I think I'll put it out in August. Yeah, so I really like it. I'm making it in the size 4. 
um, which might be a little bit big for Micah. He'll be two in August, but um, I wanted it to be big enough. They could wear it for a couple of years um, and just be cozy. Mm -hmm. And I really like the pattern. This is actually my first sweater that I'm making for him. Oh, uh, okay. Um, he has a vest and a couple hats, but I just been intimidated by making a sweater. So I think it's really cute and I like the short rows and um, I think that'll help with the fit. Um, there's like a folded neckband and Ooh, yeah. all of the hems and stuff and I've never done it this way. So, oh yeah. So I did folded like little cuffs and folded at the bottom instead of ribbing because, um, I liked it. And so I wanted to use it in the pattern. It um, looks, it makes it look really like classy and finished and it's really a nice feature. And like, sometimes I'm like over rib. Because everything. I feel that way too. I was trying to think of something a little bit different. That's um, why like, I like the tilled because it has that stitch pattern, which is just like different than a normal rib. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so I need to um, make some progress on that. Oh, and that was in Goodwill, which yes. is the suggested yarn. Haystack. Um, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's fun. It's different than I thought it would be. I couldn't tell all the different colors in it um, online, but it has like some red undertones and it has like green in other mm. places. That would be perfect for the fall. Yeah. Take Micah to the pumpkin patch and he's in his little sweater. Yes. Oh, that would be fun. And him and Ollie can like be coordinating. Yeah, because Ollie will, Ollie will look like a pumpkin. But... That would be so cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that color. Wow. Um, I don't know that I've seen that. Sorry, yeah. I'm going to show the people. Now, now you're in suspense. <laughs> okay, this is my other project I'm going to do right now. It's also a test. Oh, well, you can't really see the color. It's a little more green. Yeah, there. it's not coming. I feel like every time I look at it in a different light, it looks it's like different. a different color. So that'll be interesting. So this is Tori Knits in New York's um, pattern that's coming out um, in early fall. I don't know. The test ends in August, so I'm not sure how. I think she's going to release it pretty quickly after that. Um, and it's the Brooklyn Raglan. And I am really enjoying it. Um, and it has the... One of the things that drew me to it again like the unique finishing i guess mm -hmm. but it has a um like a shirt tail hem Ooh, um like that, that you make with like short rows and then it has like a ribbing that goes all the way around and so you don't have to it's like knit in the round it's not like a split hem you have to like go back and forth but That's really it's nice. still in the round and so i i'm kind of particular about like different features that i like and i don't like different construction because i just think it's kind of like fiddly you yeah know, and say that. I don't love yeah I just want it to like I want to make it but I also um want to make it a certain way which I'm learning to let go of that to be able to create what I want to create so well part of the process like you have to enjoy the process if you want to you know you get to make all those decisions do That's you want true. to enjoy the process would you rather have a different product but not enjoy the process as much so totally understand oh what yarn are you using Yes, I have the tag. I brought it, so okay. Oh, nice. It's the Ella Ray DK Merino Superwash, oh. and it is in Olive Heather. Oh, I wouldn't have called that Olive Heather. I know. It was, like, a little bit... I like it's it. It's, like, moody. I don't know. Yeah. It was, like, different than I thought it would be exactly, but I'm happy with it. Yeah. Um, And I met Gage, so that's my biggest challenge always. Definitely. So, Definitely. <laughs> um, But I got it for my birthday, and I got it off of, like, the... Little Knits website online. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Those are some great projects. Yes. I like them. I like them. Okay. I have a couple of um, projects. I, oh, um, I'll start with this one. So, I just cast this one on last night. Um, so, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> this is also Pearl Soho Goodwill. It's a classic for me. Um, I'm a fan after using it. And yeah, okay. I get, I get, like well, I get the hype about the Pearl Soho yarns now because I've used the Cashmere Merino Bloom mm -hmm. and the Goodwill now, and I'm yeah. like, yes, please. Yeah, I, I really like them. They go on sale often. Mm -hmm. They have affordable, more affordable options. Some of them are not for me, which is fine, but some of them are. Anyway, this is Goodwill in, um, this is olive oil. Mm. Yes. So I am making the... He can make a cameo if he wants. Mm -hmm, it's a microphone. Yeah. Do you want to hold my yarn? Uh, yeah, I know the microphone is really cool, but we can't have it, okay? You want to go back and watch your show? Yeah. Okay. 
Thanks, sweet boy. Okay, this is the Kerti, and I will link the designer in the bottom because um, I don't want to mispronounce her name. And um, it's a colorwork round yoke sweater, so I'm not a huge fan of like a circular yoke fit, but I know most colorwork sweaters, that's just how they are. And so I don't do them a lot. I've only made one, two. I made two. One was a secret test knit though, so I can't talk about it. It hasn't come out yet. Um, um, but have you seen Amy Sure, She talks about how she doesn't have, it's not a, it's a lace yoke, circular yoke. But she talks about how she makes them a circular yoke raglan yes. combo. Yes, yes, I've seen that. So my um, the Oliver Cable one, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, well, I can't remember. It's also like that. It's a circular yoke, and then it has raglans at the bottom. So mm -hmm. people say that that helps with the fit. Yeah. So maybe I can. Maybe um, you can like modify this one. Yeah. To, do to that. add some. That would be nice. Yeah, I mean, it looks great in the photos. That's why I picked it. Like, it looks like it fits everyone well. Um, I I'm do not love hunting, like, a, a Ravelry page, project Oh, yeah, page all the projects, mm -hmm. all the hashtags. Yes, that helps me decide a lot um, what I want to make. So, yeah, I, I just cast on. So, I finished the short rows, um, and then... What colors are you using for your color work? I think I'm going to use white and pink. Oh, wait, I remember you playing this a long time ago. Yeah, I I just found the yarn recently in my craft closet. And so I was like, you know what? This is not a summer sweater, but I haven't known what to cast on recently. So I thought I'm just going to cast this on because I'll want it for the fall. It'll be done. I'm trying to convince her to make a like matching set like the um, the flutter butt. So, yeah, there's flutter butt and there's so summer, I think. Yes. And uh, didn't... Um, isn't Caudry coming out with a set? Oh, maybe? So, um, my favorite things. Maybe it's my favorite things. And, yeah, the like uh, yeah. the thick rib. Yeah, I have a hard time like wearing my knitwear to just lounge in, but I I I don't have enough knitwear to do that yet. But I like aspire to get to that point because yeah. I mean I definitely wear my tilt like around the house all the time. I'm like, is it cold enough? Can I wear like? <laughs> can I turn the air down a little bit? Yeah. More? Can I wear it? And yes. Yeah. I know. I, I want to get better. <gasps> you finished it. I know. Oh my gosh. That was it's like a two-day sock. Yeah, I was really excited about it. <laughs> so <laughs> It's so cute. This is another... It's not really a work in progress, but the other one hasn't been made, so that makes Same. sense. Until you progress. make the pair, it's a work. Well, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I really like it. This is a Woolberry Fiber Co. sock set um, that was kindly sent to me during a sock swap. Um... Oh wait, is this the same one you did the um the cabled sock out of? Yeah, my winter sun sock. It looks so different. Doesn't it? I know. So I also have another pair of socks out of this. Um I didn't bring them with me, but uh it looks so different. I didn't realize. I was trying to figure out. I know, maybe because there's no contrast. Color. Yeah, I mean on, it does have this. Honest, I might like it better without the it looks the gray. Because without with the gray, it looks more gold, but with this it looks more just like I have her um like caramel mocha oh yeah this looks very and it caramel looks really similar to that but i don't yeah. think it looks similar when it's with the gray yeah it just like i love it, it looks different yeah yeah I and the it. little mohair yeah it has a little mohair ruffle um that's the knitting for olive mohair um i think the colorway is caramel actually and now what pattern is this Hannah? so this is um my own pattern i'm working on this is um i'm working on like a sock set um for kids and this is the largest size, so I was knitting up the sample just to kind of see, test out my ideas, because um, I love the ruffle idea, but I wanted to combine all my favorite things um, into one pattern. <laughs> so I love a folded um, cuff. I love through by one rib. I love a ruffle. Um, so I just wanted to put them all together. So I started off making my size, which coincidentally is the largest child size, the 10 year up and up size. Um, because you know, uh, we have small feet. We do have small feet. So that's always the struggle is finding sock patterns that are small enough, um, for us. So this is the, um, the colors will be different. Like when you see the pattern, um, but I haven't actually gotten the yarn in yet. It's a little bit late. Um, so I just decided to make one for myself and see if I liked it and I do like it. So I'm, I never really thought I was a ruffle person, but I'm kind of really into ruffle socks so yeah. i might have you to you might need to make them yeah this is like a shorty to. size i haven't decided like if it's better for kids to have 
tall sock, a short sock. I think both are super cute, but I'm hoping to get it out like quickly, like maybe September for like a back to school. Um, that would be so Like cute. if your child is nervous to go to school, how sweet if they were wearing socks that you made them. Even if they're not nervous, how sweet. They could be like, I'm going to make these, or my dad. Doesn't like Wolverine do back to school sweaters for her girls? I mean, her oh. son and daughter. Wow, I don't know, but that's a high standard to uh, aspire to. Socks would be quicker. Yeah. I mean, depending on the size of your child, but, or your grandchild. Yeah. But yeah, I like, they could be like, oh yeah, I'm wearing my socks my grandma made me for grandparents day or something. <gasps> oh, that's cute. I know. We used to love grandparents day. Yes. So. And, and I mean, always grandparent figures or anything. Oh yeah. Our, our mom has gone to a grandparents day as a grandparent figure for someone yes. else's kids. So. Yeah. Yeah, I Any love it. Any loved one made this for you, or I don't know. I just think that that's sweet. School was hard for me when I was little. I was always very. Um, yeah, Micah scared. doesn't love um, going to the church nursery, so he could have nursery socks. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Um, that would be. Yes, yeah, so sweet. Okay, so those are my works in progress. I don't have very many. Um, I. I thought you were not. Did you finish your second sample of oh. your pattern? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't, but I don't think I have a... It might be over here. I haven't made any progress since Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I thought... I was just like, wait, I thought... No, I forgot. I do have that. I am making a second sample for Micah's... I mean, for Ollie's classic crew, um, but I haven't made any progress since last time. It's, it's in the same color. I just had more yarn. Did you make a, a different size? Uh, it's the 12-month size. And your first one was? 18 months. Okay. Yeah, because I um, don't have very much yarn left. <laughs> Um, but I didn't think I was gonna use it for myself. It's not really my color. Um, you can make yourself a matching scarf number one to his um, oh, sweater, so you okay. guys could that would be cute. Coordinating family photos. Okay, yeah, I do think that that would be fun to make stuff for family photos. Like one person has socks, one person has a scarf. A can hat. you make a knitted um, tie pattern? You can make oh. feel like a oh, feel like a knitted tie or a knitted like bow tie. That would be cute. I don't know that I've ever seen knitted. I've seen them. Oh, you have? Okay. One of my teachers growing up in, like, elementary school always wore, like, a knitted tie. Oh, okay. I like it. I like it. I don't think it was, like, handmade, but, like, it was, like... It was knitted. It was, like, yeah. It was, like, a garter stitch. Even. I like it. It wasn't even, like, what, like, a nice double knit skinny tie. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Abby is going to be a designer soon. She's going to put out this pattern. No, I'm just the idea person, and I, like, try to convince Hannah that she should design I it. love the double knit idea. Um, that's very cool, because you could have, you could switch it up. Two ties for the <gasps> knit of one. Oh, I was thinking just, like, in the same color, but you could do different colors. Oh. You could do both the same colors. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, okay. Any acquisitions now? Yeah. Do you have any acquisitions you want to share? I do. Let's see. Where should I start? Okay, well, um... We are very sad to hear that Echo View Fiber Mill was oh gosh, closing. So sad. Hannah sent it to me, and I was like, oh, no. We it's went so and visited there, like, almost a year ago, like, yeah. last fall. And it was, I mean, they were so sweet. We were, like, early, and they, like, let us in early before they opened. And it was just so beautiful. And, I don't know, it was really cool. Like, you, they had the glass panel, so you could see them milling. Yeah, in the action, yarn. it was really cool. Um, it was so beautiful, the property. They had a huge garden, rain garden. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, a lead gold certified yeah, was, building yeah so it was just really cool and so we were very sad about it um mm -hmm. but hannah hopped on that sale and i was like thinking not fully when i like chose my quantity of yarn so now i have three skeins of the um echo view fiber mill ranger merino dk oh it's so um, pretty like, it's coming like a little darker than it is oh yeah i like that though. but um so it's 265 yards. So I have three skeins because um, I bought one at our local um, yarn shop, Downtown Knits. You should go there and see if they have any left. I should. Well, I still don't know. So then my mom put in an order for like Christmas and I tagged on another skein there. But she hasn't gotten it yet, I don't think. So I don't know. They said they might have oversold their yarn. So I don't know if I have a fourth skein coming or not. Oh. So I did see someone... But I was looking through project pages, and someone made this beautiful vest. Yeah, you could definitely make a slipover. But it was, like, their own pattern, and I was, like, obsessed with it. And I was oh. like, oh. But it's really, really similar to Ollie's vest that you designed. Oh. It was, like, very similar because it had, like, the same, I like, center you, decrease. I'm gonna, I can braid it up. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe I could do that. Um, so, yeah, either a sweater or a slipover, depending if I have three or four stains.
Um, but anyways, I decided I was obsessed with it and I wanted to make something else with it, not a sock, because I wanted to be like visible. Yes, and I wanted to like be able to like be cozy in it and um Hey Micah. Oh Okay. So yes, just trying to decide depending on if I have a force game coming or not. Yeah. But that is a good idea. I should look at downtown next. I mean, it's also something to do. <laughs> yes, it is a fun it is a fun place to go. Yeah. And Micah does love yarn stores. We went to Great Yarns last week a couple times. Um, and they were so sweet to him. But he was like, they have all these crocheted animals and he was like touching them all and he definitely wanted them to come home with him. So I might have to like break out my crochet hooks and try to make him one. Or some sort of Sophie animal. Yeah. Um, when we went to Freeman's, I guess we kind of go to a lot of local yarn shops when we're looking for something to do. Yeah. We went to Freeman's and I let Micah pick something out. Oh my God. Um, we need a Micah, Micah's acquisitions. <laughs> yeah. So this is what he chose. Um, it it's so cute. It is like a mini skein of um, the of Perennial. Okay. Um, by... Kelburn Wallace. Yes, Kelburn Wallace. It's really soft. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I think it has like something mohair in it or something. Yeah, it was yeah. I don't know. We'll have to. Micah ate the tag, so I I don't really know. Um, I love that he picked it out though. I mean, he loves yarn, so it's kind of like going to an indoor playground. Yeah, and and he also got some um the little felt balls. Oh yeah. Um, because, well, I think he was a little sad that he didn't have quite as many as Ollie. Because oh, um, yeah. Ollie has like a whole basket of swim and we have like three. Yeah, so. about like a set. But he does get one every time we go somewhere. Yeah. Okay, this is my last acquisition. Um, and I got it from the thrift store. Wow, that is so cute. Um, I can't tell if it's here. I, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it is um, Tiller Thomas. Okay. Yeah. Um, which I don't think that, that they died. The tag looks really old. Yeah, I don't think that they still dye yarn okay. um but it's um color napoleon it is a 70 percent silk 30 percent sea cell which is a kelp? natural kelp fiber kelp fiber i've never has anyone used kelp fiber before because that's really cool i like that yeah so it is a fingering weight and it is um 290 yards wow and i have two skeins oh um that's awesome. so i'm not 100 sure what i'm gonna do with it i want to so. see how it knits up is it self-striping is it like i don't know how does it work i, I don't know look also see. like the tags are two different colors so it's like a whole vibe oh, i think wow. it's just a retro vibe i don't think it's like that old oh okay it's just a retro i think i, I don't like know it. i well, found I it on some research i found it on ravelry okay um so it does exist like i it, love it but yeah Wow. Um, that's really cool. Yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah. So, it's like a little outside my comfort zone. Yeah, when are you going to make? I don't know. It was just like, I mean, it was just kind of too good of a deal to like pass up. For sure. Was, like, we love thrift store yarn. Two dollars, maybe? Four? It was two or four dollars. I don't remember. Wow. Um, that's awesome. But yeah, I was just trying to decide what to do with it. I don't know. I saw a lot of shawls. Mm -hmm. Um... And maybe some scarves on Ravelry. I don't know if it'd be enough for like a cami or something. Oh, but how cute would that be with the stripes? Yeah. So. You could maybe use like another color or something. I don't know. Mm, yeah. I guess I don't really want to get like put too much more investment. No. In no. Trying and to your, find. And your kelp you know. yarn. And, it and is my, silk though. That's yeah. really nice. So it's a new fiber that I haven't. Uh, well. It feels so different. So I swatched the cattail silk from Pearl Soho. Mm. And I was like, oh, I don't really think that I like knitting with silk. Like, it's really pretty, but the I don't, it didn't have, like, the give. And it was, it's not, like, super soft. Mm -hmm. Like, I like it, but it feels so different than this. Yeah. And, oh, I wanted yeah. to try, I wanted to touch your, um. I sent it. No, that's okay. I recently completed a sample knit, which is kind of why I'm in a weird place with my works in progress. Because... I finished up a large sample knit project um, a couple of days ago and mailed it off. And so it was out of silk, though. It was knitting for all of silk. And so I was going to let Abby thought it was really it. soft, right? Well, when I was knitting it, it didn't feel as soft. It was my first time knitting a large project with silk. But the drape was so nice. Like when she had me try it, the designer had me try it on. And um, yeah, the drape was so nice. And it felt like 
cool and all the things people love about silk. I could see why people make things out of silk. Um, okay. I mean, I was really happy with this. Like, this watch was really pretty. Yeah. But, like, when I was sitting with it, it yeah, just wasn't felt kind of... Yeah, yeah, it just felt different in your hand. And I was like, sure. I knit it right after I knit with, like, linen quilt. And I mm. kind of am obsessed with it. Yeah. So, I was like, I like it, but it's different. Yeah, I could see. I could, for sure, for sure. It's We have so much to learn about fibers. <laughs> I know, right? But it's fun um, to try new fibers. Definitely. You have some. I have some new to me fibers. Do you have any more? No, that's okay. all. Um, okay, well, I will share my Echo View. Eco View? I never know. But oh, I will sorry. share my finds. No, I think it's Echo View. Um, I was personally very sad about this. Again, we went last year. It was beautiful. It's also just sad because they have incredible yarn. It's local in our home state. And um, also just sad when a small business closes anyway. So we don't like to see that for anyone. Mm -hmm. Sad. But they had a huge sale. Like everything was like 50, yeah. 60, 50% 50 mm -hmm. off. Like everything, which is amazing. It's unheard of. So um, I got a few things actually, but I gave them to my mom to give me for Christmas or my birthday. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know what else you got, but I don't know. That. Oh, I got the um, lanyard yarn. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So it feels sad to like tell you about these because you can't get them, but um some stores still might have them in stock oh yeah see if your local yarn store has them yeah um and i also saw because i was like looking for ranger and i was trying to decide mm -hmm. if i was gonna like add to my stash once i decided i wanted to make more out of it the prices really range depending on your yarn store because i looked at a lot of different yarn stores online huh. um That's and i saw like a range of prices so that was kind of interesting okay. but i did find at least ranger is available at quite a few local yarn stores online That's good. That's um, good. I know. I feel sad that people won't get to use it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm kind of obsessed with this color. So this is yeah. This is their lapidary, which is supposed to be like jewel tones. I think it is the inspiration. So this is merino and tinsel, 400 yards, and I don't see the color on here. It's beautiful. Um, uh, it's right there. Oh, argonite. Okay, so it's like a stone, maybe. I don't know. I, I had this color before, and I made a pair of socks out of it. And so I have a little bit left. I have half a skein left, like 200 yards. So I was thinking about making a camisole out of it um, using this and then the other one. Which one? Which camisole? I don't know. I love my camisole number five so much. I want to make like five more. I mean, I think you should. I mean, I think it's like a great, a great layering piece. And didn't you yeah. say you finally found like your summer button up? So you could like yes. wear the cami yes. under the button up and that would be with like a pair of jean shorts. Yes. Okay. I just need any places to go. We need to go get coffee and wear our cool outfits and mm -hmm. be super trendy and everything. Um, yeah. Yes. So I was thinking about this. I love the color. This is like my, one of my favorite colors. It's a little less dusty than usual. Like I wear this color a lot. Um, the other thing I got from there, which is sort of um, knitting adjacent is these mending darning mushroom and darning egg. So I am not a proficient darner or mender really. I've mended a couple things, but I wanted to get more into it. So what better option or opportunity than a sale when everything's 50% off. Um, so add this to our collection. My husband goes through socks like weekly. Like, I don't know what it is, but his socks like get destroyed almost immediately. Um, but anyway, so I went to darn maybe the ones that are nicer that I like a lot, um, his socks and, or like his ones he wears to work. Um, mm. But yeah, it's some of Ollie's stuff too. He's, he's, I mean, he doesn't like rip holes on them, but um, they're getting a little thin. So I'm excited about this, excited to try it. I know like mending is super in, a lot of you probably <laughs> mend stuff, which is awesome. I want to be that way. Did you buy a mending loom also from Freeman's? Or no, no I didn't. Okay, I you looked that. at them. Yeah, I was thinking about buying a mending loom, but since I don't, um, this is like a lower investment to start to see if you like it. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. I want to try it and I want to keep doing it. Have you been mis Have you been inspired by Minimal Machinist on Instagram? Yes. Yes. She Minimal posts a lot of reels about yeah. mending. Yes. I, I've been very inspired just by people mending. Oops, sorry. Um, in general, like seeing it on Instagram. Um, but I know it's not new to Instagram. It's been around forever, so. I'm really excited about this yarn. Yes, me too. Okay, Abby sent me this recently. Um, I was sick and for like a week in bed and um, she sent it to me when I was at my weakest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She usually says no to the yarn I sent her. And she's like, oh, you should buy it. So I finally yeah. convinced her to buy something. Yes, yeah, so Autumn and Indigo was having like, um, I don't know if it was like a overstock um, 
sale or some sort of end of season sale. Why. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They had a big sale going on, and so I um, purchased this Ottoman Indigo Local Fingering, and this is the color does not say the color, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, Summer Gold. Yes, of course. <laughs> Can't read. Okay, so it's Local Fingering Summer Gold. Um, it has 450 yards, so I have two of Can these. Can I hold one of them? Yes, hold it. It looks like Ooh. it's got like a higher twist. It seems very um, springy. Is very that springy. Right word? I think the word is like loft, maybe. Ooh, is okay. it lofty? I don't know. You guys probably know the words better than I do. I've been trying to listen to podcasts to learn more. You can drop it in the show notes and tell us, or in the, yeah, in the drop comments. it in the comments and tell us what we're uh, using words wrong. Yeah, but um, it's so squishy. I know it feels so good, but I also had to get this color that's oh not really sim isn't that Beautiful. similar to your cami that you made sort of yes it's probably the same color yeah it's very oh, similar yeah the this is urchin Ooh, like like a sea, sea urchin? urchin yeah so this is only 250 it's still local fingering too so i was thinking like a color work these together um it would make a nice statement sweater but also like i could just make a sweater out of this or make like an accessory out of this I don't know it also feels very similar to some um, yarn that I have so I was thinking I could use like I have a white that kind of looks like this um, and so I could add it in the one I was just showing you the yeah, cascade. yeah. Um, um, now that I'm touching it I'm really regretting the fact that I didn't buy it I'm sorry I'm kind of really loving it I, but the color that I liked well I'm really stuck on wanting like this green color and I they mm -hmm. shouldn't have that the dusty artichoke. Yeah. Well, I think she only had it like in the small skeins, uh, and they were a little bit more expensive than the yeah. large skeins. Yeah. Has anyone used Ottoman Indigo? I have not. I made one of her hat patterns. That's why I follow her. Okay. Um, the trail four hat. Oh. Um, but I, it's like a double folded brim. Mm, I like it. It's all in like stockinette, um, and it's like a worsted or a bulky weight, and so it's a great gift knit. Mm. Um. We love a good but picnic. that's how I found her. Yeah. Um, and that's awesome. Yeah, I definitely love the way yeah, this feels. Yeah, it's it feels really nice. This is definitely a treat. I don't have a lot of um, indie fibers. Indie, indie, yes. And so I was excited to try this. Um, try it out. I don't have a plan for it. It's going to my stash, which I am okay with. But um, yeah, you can click on one. Okay, so that is all I have. Do you have anything else? That's all. I am excited to finish my test nets and meet those deadlines, so I gotta get on it. You know, anyone uh, a test knit overcommitter? Yeah. I don't think you're overcommitted. You only have two. I, I thought I was gonna be fine. I Then I got a little anxious about it, but I still have till like August for both of them, so. Yeah. Um, it is the beginning of July, so. Like a month. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do that. I think I can do it. I just need to like stay focused. Like, I've been trying to I used to sew more than knit, and I've been trying to, like, get myself back up there uh, to... Some to, sew joke. Yeah, I've been I've been missing it. Um, I think my size has fluctuated, and so just, like, feeling like nothing's going to fit if I make it. And so, like, knitting feels like a lower commitment because you can just take it out, and you can't, like, uncut your fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think that's why I've been having a bit of a mental, like dilemma and not being able to make a decision yeah. um, i'm glad you're still creating though yeah. maybe you need some travel clothes or... yeah yeah we're hoping to uh well we have plans to go visit um our grandparents to bring the boys to see them so um if you hear us talking about that that's where we're going we're going to go see um across the country to see the grandparents and... clearly we're excited we haven't like flown or really done some travel in a while so. and then we're like you know two years or something the boys haven't flown so they're gonna be making the trip together um grandparents will be there going to see great grandparents cousins um so very exciting but there will be a little break in the podcast then um in we september could, we could do some notes from the field oh yeah we can definitely take some vlogs we're going our, our grandparents live on a little um farm uh so yeah the boys are going to get to experience farm life um, so yeah, it's going to be great, but, um, in September we may not have the regular podcast, but I'm hoping Abby will be here like maybe once a month. Um, yeah, yeah I'd love to show her if some love in the If you notice me comments. looking out to the side or something, um, my son is here, uh, 
playing and watching a show. So just making sure that he's not, um, he was climbing on furniture earlier. So just trying to keep him safe. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So there might be, um, uh, some more, it might be a little more choppy today, but that's fine. If you have kids or grandkids or little people running around, you understand, which we appreciate. So, um, yeah, hopefully Abby will be here in the future. Well, thanks for having me on. I enjoyed it and yes. learned a lot and yeah. Oh yeah. You, she, I think I've shared this, but Abby was like really inspirational in getting me into like more fine knitting. Um, like she would send me patterns and yarns and yarn shops and I'd be like, what is Ravelry? What, like, who are these people? And so, um, even though you weren't really knitting at the time. I know, I don't, I think it was just because I was like in the crafting world and like yeah. some of the like sewing magazines I liked also had like knitting projects in them and so. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us for the special episode of Hannah G Knits and we will see you um, in a couple weeks. And Abby might be back and maybe a month or two or whenever um, we can find some. Yeah, maybe you'll get to see together. it. I have some finished projects then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want an update on the Brooklyn Raglan. Yes. 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 Yeah, can't wait. Okay, well, we'll see you another time. Have a great weekend.